the ASF, the spirit of innovation. The Old Men and the Sea is a story about long hours, hard work, and work songs. Cowboys, mule skinners, cotton pickers, gandy dancers, all sorts of working men and women sang songs once upon a time while they worked. We've lost most of that American music. Well, here is some we haven't lost. For countless generations, the Menhaden fishermen have been setting out to sea from Beaufort, North Carolina. The fish swim in schools of millions. They've been netted since Indian times for fish oil and fertilizer. Menhaden fishing never has been easy work and still isn't, even on Captain Bobby Martin's boat rigged with winches and pumps. They don't exactly jump on this boat. We had to get down and work, get them on here, you know, but it's, it's nowhere near like it used to be. It used to be harder. That is something Captain Martin does not have to tell the three honored guests he has with him this trip. They know how it used to be. John Henry Pritchard knows. 50 years ago, the Manhattan boat on which he was working went down in Beaufort Harbor. 17 of his shipmates drowned that day or froze to death before anyone could get to them. John Henry Pritchard knows how it used to be. On him back, back, on him back, back, on that bridge, ice had froze up a solid, solid post of ice. About four of them back there through them holes. John Jones does too. And so does John Bell. He remembers. And it got so rough, we had to let the fish go. And we tried to take our boats up. This is how it used to be. They didn't have any hydraulic winches to pull their nets. They had strong arms. The nets weighed thousands of pounds. If the men did not pull together, steadily, powerfully, fold by gathered fold of the net, all exactly at once, the catch might be lost. They might be lost, overboard, with the enormous slipping weight of what they held in their hands. To get themselves pulling together to lift the nets, to lift their spirits, they sang. Roseanne, Roseanne, you are so sweet. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, my darling child. I won't be home. Tomorrow. Mike Luster of the North Carolina Maritime Museum had heard about the hauling shanties the old Menhaden men sang. And I said, is there anyone around who remembers these songs? Who sang, who sang lead with these songs? He said, John Jones, and he lives right over here. Mike Luster discovered that other retired Manhattan men were still to be found on shore. Before long, 13 of them were getting together most every Friday night, trading stories of how it used to be, and singing the shanties that got them through the hard, cold work at sea. so cold your hen was swell and bust and you still had to pull you had to carry your load and so just start singing them shanty song that give you spirit to go on and that the way it was you had to learn how to pull now, as you pull one hand, you catch the other hand to pull. 
You pull again, you throw it this way. Next time, you throw it that way. You keep it level so you have a level place so you can have your balance. Keep your balance. As you pull in there, then you throw it so it'll be level. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. This is the kind of straining work where you give it your all, all that you got. It's gonna take all you got to get them up, and everybody knows that. And then somebody want to put some joy into it, or either some sorrow into it. See the Shanty song, either bring joy or either sorrow. And I'm going home. So when they sang that shiny, oh, me. Oh, it, it, something else happened to you. Start singing something like, I left my baby standing in the back door crying. Come on, boy, let's get these fish. I left my baby. John Jones or John Bell why they're doing what they're doing they're saying to keep this these songs alive to hand it on to the next generation we almost lost these songs and they want to hand it on and it's not just Menhaden fishermen's heritage it's it's the heritage of the Gandhi dancers it's the heritage of the mule skinners it's the heritage of the agricultural workers uh, it's it's the American heritage Not long ago, the shanty singers of Beaufort, North Carolina, did something they never dreamed they'd do. They went north to Carnegie Hall in New York City to show people how it used to be to bring the nearly forgotten songs of the Menhaden men back to life again. really if these songs had been lost? Well, slender cords are made strong when they're twisted together into rope or knotted into net. Aren't men made strong just that way, by being bound together? And isn't history a net of memories knotted together? There would have been a big hole in the net of memory if these strands had been lost. Turquoise seas 